Hey everybody, my name is Ace Fangirl, and welcome back to another episode of Danganronpa 2 Goodbye Despair. Last time, a lot of weird things happened. People are apparently sick. Akane, Nagito, and Ibuki are all sick with, like, the despair disease, I think is what Monokuma's was calling it. It's our next motive, so it's making them act, like, really different and weird. Um, so now me... Mikan and Fuhiko are in the hospital taking care of them, and everyone else that's still alive is staying in the motel on the island in case we need anything. Also, Nekomaru is still gone. I'm not sure where he is. And, uh, huh? What, what, what? I suddenly woke up. And if I woke up, that means I fell asleep without realizing it. Earlier, I discussed with Fuhiko, we decided we'd take turns resting. That's right, that's why I came to the on-call room on the second floor of the hospital. I haven't been sleeping well the past few days, so a sudden drowsiness overtook me. And I was asleep, which is a good thing, but my body feels really heavy for some reason. Oh god, am I gonna get sick? No, it's not just heavy. It feels somewhat soft and... Oh my god! I can't breathe. Hallie, I mean, what? Nothing. Oh good god. I think me got sick. She wouldn't do this. Mikan. Move! I I can't breathe. Oh, she's gonna smother me. That's how we're gonna go. No, you can't. This is hot, but uh. Huh? Oh wait. Oh. Uh, oh, maybe she's not sick. Maybe this was just an accident. Uh. You! you okay? Your complexion is a bluish purple shade. It might be a. F uh, <laughs> it might be a severe cyanotic reaction. Hajime, can you hear me? Get a hold of yourself. Megan finally got off me, grabbed my shoulders, and began shaking me intensely. Yep, she's sick. Somehow that was enough to get my consciousness to drip ba drift back to reality. Uh, oh. Hajime! Hajime, you've regained consciousness! I'm so glad! I thought you died! Me too. I seriously thought I was gonna die! Uh, I'm sorry! I thought about taking a rest in the on-call room, but you were already asleep, so... That doesn't mean you can climb on top of me! <laughs> then I'll be on the bottom next time! Oh, oh, okay. That's seriously not what I'm talking about. Hey, hey! Hey. What are you, you guys doing? Here you go! No, this is- I really hope you didn't get the wrong idea. Don't tell me. Were you guys sleeping together? Oh, Jesus. Bastard! You dirty rotten bastard. You guys are fucking high school students. Seriously, you've got this all wrong. Damn it. We don't have time for that. Nagito, he's in danger. Oh, God. What? Danger? What? When I peeked inside his room earlier, it looked like he wasn't breathing. Huh? Huh? Uh-oh. This is bad. Now's the time for us to rest. Mikan vigorously leapt out of bed and ran out of the on-call room. Damn it. Hajime, now's not the time for you to be pitching a tent. <laughs> we need to hurry. <laughs> Seriously, I'm not. Mikan and I chased after Mikan as she ran into Nagito's room. That was a weird thing that just happened. I don't know what was up with that. IDK, man. Oh my god, he does look pretty dead. Uh, uh, Nagito, yeah. please, get a hold of yourself! Despite Mikan's desperate pleas, I didn't see Nagito react at all. Don't tell me. There's no way he died, right? The body discovery announcement isn't playing, right? Hey, fidget, fidget! Yeah, what? Are you gonna play it now? Is he dead? Damn it, he's totally waiting for it. Damn it! This looks very bad. Is he. Is he dead? What's going on here? Damn it! This looks very bad. Yeah, I know. What What do you have to say? Do you have anything? God, is Nagito alright? Well, um, it looks like his breathing has returned. Really? But still, his condition is unpredictable and that's putting it lightly. Hey! Hey! How light is that? Is it sweet potato soft? Well? I was weird. If so, that's pretty light. Well, we're getting some slow down here. Please don't interfere! Hey. Hey, look, isn't Nagito's mouth moving? You're right, he might be trying to say something. 
<laughs> Nagito, what happened? As she said his name, Mikan softly tilted her ear towards Nagito's lips. What did he say? Um... Apparently, his condition has improved and he feels quite refreshed. Um, he's lying. Um, since Monokuma said that Nagito has the liar disease, he probably means the opposite and actually feels really crappy. Like... But what's gonna happen if he just dies? We're not gonna have a class trial, right? Okay, I don't know what the slowdown is, but it's being weird. Don't talk like that. Yes! Um, Nagito is never going to die. I will save him by any means necessary. I see. I see. Got it. Then I leave Nagito's life to you. Yes! Yes! Far from her usual self, Mikan responded assertively and went back to tending Nagito. I think she might be sick as well. If we stay here any longer, we might just get in the way. Damn right. Then follow me. While you're resting, the goods arrived. I gotta show them to you. The goods aren't something dangerous, right? Anyway. Let's go to the lobby. Okay. Nagito, you, you okay, bud? Oh my god, he looks shitty. There's no reaction from Nagito. He just started breathing again, but his condition is unpredictable. Yeah, okay. What about everyone else? Are they okay? Like, yes. Nagito's life is my responsibility. I will save him by any means necessary. Okay, what, do you have anything else to say, darling? Damn right. The goods were delivered to the lobby. Let's hurry up. Okay, fine, let's go. We'll go check the goods. Is everyone else okay? Why are we only concerned about Nagito? I guess everyone else must be- Oh, we put little signs on the doors. Can I, like, check on everyone else? Oh, I can! Oh, I wasn't sure. I'm gonna check on everyone. Hold on. Look, bananas. Oh. Are you just gonna say the goods were delivered to the lobby? Jeez. I understand that you're worried, but there's nothing we can do here. Anyway. The goods were delivered to the lobby. I know, I just... Hey, look, bananas. How are you, darling? Are you alright? <laughs> I don't want to be in the hospital. I want to go home. It's gonna be okay. You don't have to worry. Fihiko and I are here, so don't cry. <laughs> Oh, darling. I've never seen a Kane cry like that. I don't really know what to do. Okay, I'm gonna go check on Ibuki as well. Because I can. Is this where she is? No, uh... God, that's terrifying. Hi, darling. Um, Ibuki is here. Nagito's in the middle. Okay, got it. Plus, it's probably good to get a lay of the land just in case something does happen. How are you, dear? She's so happy! Yes. You came to visit and see how I am doing. Thank you very much for your courtesy. Oh, is it okay for you to be awake? You should be resting in bed. Understood. Thank you very much for your consideration. I shall heed your kind attitude and take a rest. Compared to Nagito, Ibuki seems fine. Are there individual differences in symptoms too? Yeah, that's... I don't know. We don't know anything about this disease, honestly, so... Really, I don't even know if there's any point in, like, speculating about it. Alright, let's go to the lobby. See what... What kind of goods there are. Did everyone drop off things for us? Like, food? Ah! Oh, look! If you Hiko, what do you mean when you said goods? Damn right! Look on top of the reception desk. On top of the reception desk? Well, I see them. I'm not an idiot. No, not for you. Anyway. Yeah, look on top of the reception desk. Okay, I'm trying. Yeah, we have our own little surveillance camera now. Fihiko's talking about this, right? It looks like a monitor and a camera unit. Hey, what is this? Huh. Perfect timing. The blue light's blinking. Does something happen when this blinks? <laughs> Seeing is believing, as they say. Try pressing the button just below the light. I just have to press the button? I did what Fihiko said and pressed the button. Is it my girlfriend? Oh, well, that's What's not my girlfriend. That? Hey, is this Hajime? He loud and clear. It looks like it's perfectly connected. Kazuichi, then this is... Yay, everyone! Huh. We can talk to them all. Yeah, that's right. That's the way to communicate he was talking about. Perfect. Hey, dude. All right. It's like it's time for the ultimate mechanic to shine. How about it? This is what I've been working on. <laughs> it's pretty good. Remember that alley with all those shady looking street booths? This is... <laughs> That's where I found this. It's a surveillance camera for household use, and I just tweaked it a little. <laughs> so now it's basically a video chat device. Well, it's pretty hit or miss. Video chat, huh? I get it. 
It's true, we don't have to worry about getting into infected with this. That's right. So it may be a hassle, but we'll be contacting each other with this from now on, okay? This is only a test run this time, so I guess this should be pretty fun. Okay then, see you later. All right, bye, good talk. Well, that's good. Kazuichi left this while you were resting. Damn right. The surveillance camera unit comes with a surveillance camera and a surveillance monitor. Anything the camera records is broadcast live on the monitor. So we prepared two of these sets and swapped each of their cameras. I see, by swapping the cameras, his monitor will display on what's on my camera and vice versa. I don't know if that's how that works. Apparently he also modified it a little. He widened its narrow communication range beyond just household use. Even so. Still at a limit, so apparently the signal can't reach from the hospital to the motel. Then we can't communicate between the hospital and the motel. <laughs> you didn't notice? He was contacting you, contacting you just now from the music venue near the hotel. I was gonna say, that did kinda look weird in the background. From there, the signal reaches the hospital with no problems. But they're staying at the motel, right? What happens if we can't reach them when we need to? Damn right. I thought the same thing, so we arranged times for us to contact each other. It's set up for us to communicate 30 minutes after Monokuma's morning and evening announcements. <laughs> Our next contact with them is going to be tomorrow morning. Don't sleep in. He's well prepared, as expected of the heir of an enormous organization. Huh? Like, what is it? Nothing. Oh. I thought it was 30 minutes after, so technically we could talk to them now. I'm confused. Whatever, it's probably fine. Speak Academy School Trip Executive Well, those cameras are gonna be important. To Probably gonna view a murder or it some is shit. Now 10 PM. Please return to your rooms and relax. I'm glad there's no punishment for that. Because it would be a big problem. Now then, sweet dreams, everyone. Good night. Now then. It's that time already, huh? Now then, where should I sleep tonight? <laughs> You planning to use the on-call room with a certain someone again? Listen, please don't tell Chiaki about that. Like I said, it's not what it looks like. You guys. Hey, hey, aren't you misunderstanding? What are you thinking? A hospital is a facility for sick people, so it's not for lodgings or young romantic trysts, you know. You too? What are you talking about? I don't like this. Oh, I see. Your generation has fallen out of the habit of looking at bulletin boards. I tried to look at it earlier in my defense. Come on, take a look at the bulletin board. There's a notice on there, right? A notice on the bulletin board? Yeah, it's right there. Do you have anything else to say though? I just... Okay, yeah, 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 I know. A bulletin board notice, is he talking about this? Hospital precautions. Eating and drinking is forbidden within the hospital building. If patients do not need to be accompanied, overnight stays by non-patients are expressly forbidden. In other words, right? It's like the notices you often see inside hospitals. You can't stay overnight here. What are you saying? There is one patient who needs to be accompanied. Hmm. Oh, you're talking about Nagito, right? I'm then I'll allow just one person to accompany him. The rest of you need to hurry up and get out of here. Jeez. Hospital precautions, my ass. You should have said so sooner. Only one person can stay the night, and there's no way we can make Nikon leave. Jeez. Guess we have no choice. We should head back to our cottages then. You're right. Even if we stay here, we probably won't be able to do anything. After explaining the circumstances to Mikon, we decided to go back to our cottages for the time being. Okay, I mean, I don't know if that's a good idea, but okay. I guess. So Fuyuko and I are going to be the only ones sleeping in our cottages tonight. I'm a little worried. No, the ones who are stuck in the hospital should be more worried. What's the point of me getting so worried? <laughs> All right, when I wake up tomorrow, I'll go to the hospital right away. I feel bad leaving Mikon alone. I guess for now I should try to get some sleep. All right, I mean. Monokuma appears! Good evening, it's time for Monokuma's cooking class. Today we're gonna learn how to make taiyaki. The first thing you'll need is a time machine. We'll travel back in time to the Meiji period and meet a person named Seijiro Kan Kan Kanbe. He used to bake and sell turtle-shaped pastries, but unfortunately they never sold all that well. It's important that you gently cheer him up because he's going to be disappointed in himself when you meet him. From there, get serious and insist that you try making his pastries fish-shaped because they'll sell better. Once that happens, he'll happily bake his pastries in the shape of a fish. And as a final touch, name these pastries Taiyaki. I love Taiyaki. 
Okay, with this, you finished making Taiyaki. Brought to you by Monokuma. This concludes Monokuma's cooking class. Okay. Great, thank you for that, I guess. Productive. Okay, we need to get back in time to have our call with everyone in the morning. Probably. Because we have 30 minutes. Ahem. Hope Speak Academy School Trip Executive Committee has an announcement to make. Good morning, everyone. Looks like today is going to be another perfect tropical day. Mm -hmm. Now then, let's show, show some, some enthusiasm, enthusiasm and make sure to give it our all today. I'm worried about Mikan and the others. I should hurry over to the hospital. Is it gonna skip me there? The moment I got out of bed, I immediately left my cottage and headed over to the hospital. Okay. Is someone dead? Anyone dead yet? Everyone sound off? Oh, hey, darling. Good morning. Yo. Yo, you came early today. You're the one who's early. Damn right. I just got here. So what should we do? There's still a little time before we need to make contact. Wanna go to Nagito's room and check up on him? Yeah, I'm worried about how he's doing. Worry? Why do I have to worry about a guy like him? Still. Yeah, no, we should. Just make sure. Huh? What happened? Weren't you gonna go to Nagito's room? I know, we're going. Hey. Oh god. Hey, bastard. Sorry, I'm- anyway. Let's go. It's called Jabberwock Hospital. Cute. Alright. Should we check on everyone? Can we? Will he get mad? No, we can't check on everyone. Oh, we should do that before we go to Nagito's room. Just say good morning. Hi there, darling. How are you doing? Hello. Good morning. My name is Ibuki Miyoda. I am truly honored by you stopping by to see how I'm doing today as well. Oh, really? Yes. As a token of my gratitude, I really want to sing you a song. However, this is a hospital, so I must be quiet. Understood. If and when I am discharged, permit me to sing to you as a token of my gratitude. The old Ibuki wouldn't have cared at all and just started singing. I really don't know how to react. Does Fuyuko say anything else in here? Damn it. These guys aren't as bad as Nagito, but it doesn't seem like they're recovering either. Yeah, no, it doesn't. Okay, let's go check on Akane first, and then we'll go check on Nagito, because I feel like maybe someone's dead. I don't know. I have a bad feeling about going- Hi. Hello. I have a bad feeling about going into Nagito's room. Oops, I just ran past Akane's room. There she is. Good morning. Are you still crying? Yes, you're still crying. Good morning. <laughs> the hospital's scary. I was so scared I couldn't sleep. <laughs> How much longer do I have to stay here? Uh, well... Is there any cure for this? Monokuma's the one who set this up. That's all the reason we need to cure it. Alright, well this isn't going well. Let's go make sure no one's dead. In Nagito's room. Either Nagito or Mikan. I don't know, one of them could be dead. Eh. Okay. Alright. I'm prepared. Prepared for death. Oh no, looks like we're fine. Well, Nagito still looks pretty dead. Oh, everyone's alive! Perfect. Oh, well... Nikon, how's Nagito doing? Um, Same as usual. No, actually, he might be worse than yesterday. This is bad. You fucking serious? His pulse is extremely weak. He might slip into critical condition sometime today. I is he that sick? <laughs> but as long as I'm his nurse, I will never let Nagito die. Yes. Ever. I do understand how you feel, but don't overexert yourself, okay? Hajime, it's almost time to start the connection. We need to head over to the lobby. Yeah, I got it. To being reminded of how powerless I am, I left Nagito's room. <laughs> Hooray! Alright. Let's go... Let's go call everyone and be like, Hey, Nagito is really sick. And things are going to shit. But it's fine. Oh, he's standing over there now. Hello? The incoming signal light is blinking. Now then. Looks like they're already waiting. Let's hurry up and start the connection. Yeah, you're right. Alright, let's do it. I pressed the button underneath the blinking light and the monitor instantly lit up. Looks like the camera and the monitor had no problem making the connection. Soon enough, a familiar face showed up on the other side of the monitor. Who is it? Is it my girlfriend? Damn it, it's just What's you! Up? Hello! How is it? Can you see my handsome face? Yeah, I can see you real clear. <laughs> We're good on our end too. I can totally see your broke ass faces. Okay. Might be best if I tell the others about Nagito's condition. 
Hey, are you the only one over there? Nope. Yay! Hi, darling! Nope, we're all here except Hyoko. What happened to Hyoko? <laughs> Seems we all look like <laughs> aberrant enemies in the eyes of that coward. Um, she has locked herself in her room. She said from the other side of the door that she won't come out until the despair disease has been cured. She's even being cautious around the others in the motel, huh? Looks like they're also in a testy situation. Hey, hey. So, how about you? How are you guys doing? Yeah, about that. To tell you the truth, Nagito's actually in serious danger. You. I already know he's seriously dangerous. Well. No, not that. He's seriously wandering the border between life and death. What? What did you say? However. But he is going to be okay, right? Nagito's going to get better? Hey, hey. First Nekomaru, then Nagito. That ain't funny at all. Well, for now, we really can't say. Yes. You really can't say? That's impossible! Monomi, why are you on that side? Um... Because it'd be dangerous if I got close to the hospital, since I don't even know what's going on there. You are really pissing me off. Like, why does a stupid stuffed animal need to be cautious about a disease? You can't! Please don't discriminate! That despair disease is horrible! It's a dangerous disease that can even destroy this island! So until we figure out how to deal with it, I will be on this side. Oh. Before I could respond to Monami, Fuyuhiko had cut the connection. Don't fuck with me! That shitty stuffed animal, she seriously pissed me off. Okay, maybe he's not sick. Ah, damn it, I'm going outside to cool off. Fuyuko practically spat those words before he went outside. Maybe he is actually cool. Anyway, all we can do now is wait. Just wait patiently until the situation improves and changes for the better. I guess that's why we waited patiently. Because waiting patiently was the only thing we could do. We waited patiently. On a side note, why can't I relax when I'm in a hospital? Pace back and forth around the hospital lobby. Fuyuko entered and left the hospital many times. And time just kept passing by. It's been a whole day? Nothing happened? Oh my god. It has. Ahem! Hope Speak Academy School Trip Executive Committee has an announcement to make. It is now 10 p.m. Mm -hmm. Please return to your rooms and relax. Let the sound of the ocean gently rock your You should know very well that we're not doing that. Now then, sweet dreams, everyone. Good night. Damn it. Feels like a lot of stuff got skipped over and now it's nighttime already. It's almost time for tonight's transmission. Jeez. We should go back to our cottages when that's done. It's fucking annoying to keep going back and forth, though. So. But before we go back, can we check on Agita one more time? Go for it. Leave this transmission thing to me. Jeez. They're not gonna have a new clue anyway. I can handle this. Then I'll leave it to you. Okay. I don't know. I feel like this is bad. I feel like someone's gonna be dead. Oh shit, hey! What? What are you doing? Whoa, Ibuki! What are you doing here? You need to be resting. Yes. To tell you the truth, I have been getting quite bored of- quite bored doing nothing but sleeping. Also, it would just trouble you if I slept all the time, so I was hoping I could help you with anything. But it's better if I am sleeping, correct? Yeah, just get some rest for now. It'd be a big help if you got better soon. Understood. Yes, understood. That's kind of scary. I hope she gets better real soon. Um, I'm just gonna go check on her really quickly. I don't like that she was outside. Hi. You okay? Yes. Just as you ordered, I am getting proper rest, so please do not worry. Okay, I, I don't like that you were outside your room just now. That's a little scary. Let's go check on Akane first, and then we'll go check on Mikan and Nagito. Hi. You okay? You still crying? Yeah. I thought so. Go to sleep, darling. <laughs> it's nighttime again. It's so dark, I'm so scared I'm gonna get eaten by ghosts. <laughs> Usually she'd be more like, I'll beat the crap out of ghosts. Kane acting like this just isn't a Kane. No, it is not. But we're going to leave her now and go into the room where I feel like shit's happening. Alright. Mikan. Any updates? 
Is he dead yet? He's probably dead. Nope. Nothing. Well, you okay? Mikan's too focused on caring for Nagi, so she doesn't even notice that I enter the room. Has she been caring for him this whole time? Hey, Mikan. Hey, Mikan. Oh boy. No matter how many times I talk to her, she's not responding. Her back is turned towards me as she focused on caring for Nagito. I peeked over Mikan's shoulder and said, Hey, Mikan, are you okay? Yeah! Sorry, I didn't mean to scare you. Looks like you finally noticed. Please don't surprise me, I almost got wet. What? What? Um... Did you come by to check on Nagito? I just wanted to see how he's doing, but you look pretty tired too. Isn't it better if you get a little rest? Um, I hope I'm not mistaken. That'd be really embarrassing. Are you, by chance, worried about me? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> oh, thank you very much. I'll remember this moment until the day I die. <laughs> I'm starting to get my energy back, so I'll get back to taking care of Nagito. Okay, I hope she understood what I said. But she's working so hard, it'd be bad if I kept getting in her way. That's exactly how I felt, so I decided to just shut up and go back to the lobby. Alright. I mean... How did the transmission go? Is it fine? Yo. Yeah, how's Nagito doing? I'm more worried about Mikan than Nagito. She looks like she's had no time to rest. Damn it. Nagito's probably not doing so well. What about you? Are you guys done with the transmission? Jeez. As I expected, we wrapped it up quickly like they had nothing to do to report. They're apparently trying to find a cure somehow, but there hasn't been any progress. So on both our ends, it looks like we had no results. Jeez. You're oh well. Pathetic. Let's look forward to tomorrow. Did you say I'm pathetic? What the hell? I didn't do anything. With a depressingly heavy mood riding on our backs, we headed back to our cottages. Well, this isn't going anywhere. It's only a matter of time. <sighs> My worries have piled so high that one side just isn't enough. And the more I think about it, it's like I'm slowly being sucked deeper and deeper into an endless pit. I guess for today I should just go to sleep. It's best if I not dwell on it too much. And not just that. First thing in the morning I need to go to the hospital again. Kept telling myself that as I sighed one last time. And slowly closed my eyes. Uh, oh. Uh oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What's going on? I think we're gonna have to find out in the next one. Because this is running a little long. Oh my god, I'm scared. What's happening? Is someone gonna try and kill me? Spooky! I guess we'll find out in the next one. I'll see you then.